Don't forget to check out the link below in the description box for Snapshot Imagery by Tara. Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes and vampires. Welcome to T-Rex Still City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. All right, guys, look what I have. Some baked mac and cheese and stewed tomatoes with onions. Yeah, <laughs> I know it's going to be good. But before I get started, I just want to thank all my subscribers, old and new. You know, I love you guys. And to those of you who have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. We are having Canada Dry Sparkling Water, as always. All right. I haven't had mac and cheese in a while. I don't have any meat going on here. Just mac and cheese and stewed tomatoes. Mmm. Ooh. It's hot. Kind of reminds me of a school lunch, you know? Only better. <laughs> so guys, yesterday I was so busy rambling about my doctor drugging me with Flexerol. <laughs> I forgot to even tell you what the results were. The whole purpose that I went in anyway. MRI results. Well, I told you what I could read of it myself. I noticed that it said I still had spinal stenosis just in a different location. It's true. I read it right. I have some arthritis in my back. Spinal stenosis still. The good news. It's not pressing on a nerve, at least yet. But we're still not sure if that's the only cause from, of the pain because of the location of the pain. So now I'm being referred to a, well, uh, wait a minute, what is it called? A rehab medicine specialist which is a doctor that um, practices more along the lines of orthopedics and physical therapy at the same time so since I was having issues with my going to my physical therapist because they're charging an arm and a leg per visit. The doctor figured it would be good to go to a rehab doctor. That way she can probably give me more exercises. Problem with that? I might not be able to see her until September. That's how busy she is. I saw her before for another problem. And it took me about six months to get in. My current doctor, he said he's going to try to get me in there sooner. So we'll see what happens. Like maybe the rehab doctor owes him a favor. <laughs> 
Let's hope so. I don't want to have to go through this till September. This is good. You know you can always have a bite. Just grab it. That's all. Look at that cheesy mac and cheese. That was our thumbnail, too, by the way. I'm sure you knew that. I figured I would let the cheese be my protein and fat. The macaroni could be my carbs. And the tomato is my vegetable. I've got all the food groups in there. Without overdoing it. So I washed and twisted my hair today too. That's why I have this on. Trying to hold it in place till it dries. My hair texture is getting so fine, like cottony fine really soft and it's really hard holding the dreads right now. When I had dreads before I could twist my hair like maybe every month or month and a half. Now since my hair texture has changed so drastically I can see where I'm going to probably have to do it every 10 days to two weeks. So, I guess I'm ready for this project. The Dread Project. that's what it is it's not just a hairstyle it is a project I 
ask anyone who has them. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. Nice and cheesy. Peace out, my gastronomes and vampires. I will see you soon.